Hello lovelies! It's Stephanie here from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. You guys, I am going to attempt, well I've already done it. This is going to be a completely different tutorial, something we, I don't think I've ever done. So let's roll the intro and then I'll, then I'll tell you what we're going to do. Is the suspense killing you? Alright guys, today's tutorial I think is going to be fun. I hope it's going to be fun. So I've been asked a million and three times, exactly that amount, a million and three times to do a blush and burgundy wedding bouquet. And I made one. So this is where the fun part is going to come in. We're going to deconstruct this and then rebuild it and see just how different but yet how lovely it can be. I hope this is fun. I think it'll be fun. Yeah. I'm gonna have a drink, get yourself a drink, and let's let's dive into this. Now the first thing I wanna talk about is actually the color of this bouquet. We get asked a million and three times for burgundy and blush color suggestions. And I have a few especially for blush when it comes to dip dyeing, but burgundy is a little bit trickier. And I tried something that a few customers as well as crafty friends have recommended to me and that is Design Masters. This is a color tool spray, so it's kind of like spray paint, but it's made for fresh florals normally, but it works really well on preserved as well as the wood flowers. So you spray, spray it on just like you normally would spray paint, except for it has a lovely smell. Um, the flowers say super soft to the touch, um, and the color is super, super vibrant. So I use this is burgundy. For the burgundy color, so it's got a little bit of a pinky undertone a little bit, but still a really pretty burgundy. And for most of the blush, there are a couple, oh, we got cream, oh, the rest are all the blush ones. I used the color blush. Could it make it easier on me? So those, that's how I dyed these flowers, was just with that spray. Lovely, I love it so much. I'm gonna be using it a ton more. I cannot wait to grow my collection of colors. I'm so excited about that. So now let's take this apart and see if we can rebuild it. Now to rebuild this, first I gotta get my nails to behave and get my ribbon untied. This is the hardest part of long nails. Tying stuff and buttons. <laughs> and opening cans sometimes, but I got a trick for that. All right, so I had put faux, um, which we call it faux artificial stems all around it to give that kind of more natural look to it so we weren't seeing all of the stems. And then I secured them all with just a little bit of vinyl tape. So we're gonna take whoop, that off. I'm gonna set those all aside. So we're gonna redo that again. Let's see how many we had. Looks like I did some other taping of stuff together. The coolest thing about the solo flowers though is that you can, if you build something and you're not loving it 100%, can take it apart and redo it. And for the most part, there's little to no damage to the flowers. All right, so then I used a zip tie, like I like to do to hold most of the rest of this in place. Take that out. Oh, that's why I see floral tape, I forgot about that. So then around the edges, I used some of the spring green floral, besides this one, what did I do here? this bunch, all right, we're gonna set that aside uh, around the edges because we did that fun technique of bundling all of our little parts. I'll make sure to link that tutorial in the description below, but we did a bundling technique and so there's a lot of vinyl tape that's being shown. Let's take that apart, all right, and so for the most part, I have all these loose little bundles and there's a couple, I added a couple flowers here and there if I didn't like the placement of something, but for the most part, it's mostly these lovely bundles. So I'm not gonna rebundle anything. We're gonna keep all of the bundles the way they are. We need to actually make a slightly smaller bouquet. That one was a little extra extra, even for me. 
um, for a, especially for a round bouquet. Then I have a couple extra pieces floating around, so we're gonna use that to our advantage. The greenery that's in here, we've got um, faux, this is Dusty Miller, this is the large Ruscus, our soft green um, filler, and then I never remember the name of this, but it's kind of like a baby's breath, and I'll make sure we'll have all of the um, pieces listed below, so you can check those out too if you wanna see the exact item. But they're kind of like baby's breath. Look at my handshake. They're kind of like baby's breath. Don't look at me, camera. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. The teeny tiny little white flowers. Um, so those are sprinkled out throughout as well. Throughout, throughout? Sure. They're sprinkled throughout the bouquet as well. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna side all of these because we use these to kind of bundle, like wrap around our bundle. And then I've got a couple flowers setting aside if we wanna add those. And we're gonna get going to this. So I'm going to do this completely different, I think, but I'm excited. I'm gonna go a little bit smaller, so I'm not gonna use all these bundles. Let's see, which bundle do I not like? I love them all. Um, maybe we won't do that one. I might change my mind. We'll see. I don't really like that one. Actually, maybe we won't do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So hard, okay. I really like the little um, buds too, so we're gonna do that. All right, so again, we want, we're popping these together. I try not to have the same flower like butted up against each other as far as the coloring. Is that always possible? Absolutely not, but we're gonna try nonetheless. So three bundles would make a lovely little posy bouquet almost for bridesmaids especially. Four bundles, we're getting a little bit bigger. I think we're only gonna do, maybe we'll do five or six. All right, I love this flower, so I wanna make sure that one's in this arrangement. Okay. And then we'll do one more right here. Okay. I'm gonna call it done already as far as the amount of flowers. So I've got two bundles left, so we've got, how many bundles did I say? One, two, three, four, five bundles, I believe. I'm kind of liking this. I don't like overly perfectly round bouquets. Um, if you do, that's fine. You can you can do that, it's all right. Um, I just don't. So I'm gonna add just a few extra flowers in here. Actually, let's see. This one I'm gonna change and flip because I had, again, it's just me. It's just me, not everybody's like that. Um, but I wanna break up a little bit of this. So I'm gonna add some greenery there so that we don't have just this row of um, flowers around the edges. And then I'm also gonna kinda scoot a few things here and there to get me into a place that I'm happy with. All right, and then this side seems a little flat to me, so I'm gonna add one more cream flower there. Maybe we'll add one more there. No, no. Let's add a, another light pink. Mm, mar, mar. No, not loving that. That happens to the best of us. Mm. Well, it looks like we're just gonna do those. I'm gonna adjust this a little bit. Because I used the vinyl tape, I can still kind of move and groove and move some of the flowers down in different positions. So I'm gonna do that. This. Okay. And we're gonna add again a little bit of greenery just to finish off. Okay, so now I feel good about that. Set this aside. We're gonna add our green pieces back to kind of cover up some of the vinyl tape we had there as well as all of the extra stems. This one I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna put all the extra faux stems. I'm liking this one a little bit better. If everything would behave itself, I'm liking this one a little bit better in terms of the um, wire to stem ratio. It's probably because we have less stems this time. All right, 
less wires this time. It felt like a really wire heavy the last time I did this. All right. Okay, so now that's kind of like that. Hold on, let's grab some zip ties. Give my hand a break. Got a lot of extra little bits of the filler at the bottom too, so we might actually have to pull some of those off to make this a little bit easier to handle. Let me do that right now. And these are great because you can restem them if you want to um, for other arrangements. If you don't rip it off completely like I'm doing. What are we doing here? There we go. We'll get there, we'll get there. I'm slightly struggling, but it's okay. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> you just stay in there, Jeez Louise. All right. I've worked with zip ties before, I promise. Right now, if you could see what I'm seeing, I just keep slipping and it's getting out of my hand. It's just a mess. Okay, here we go. Woo, dear, much better. All right, so now I'm going to take my dad actually sent me this. It's this handy dandy little like zip tie gun. You just um, tighten it and then once it gets to as tight as it can go, it just snaps off and then you've got a nice clean cut. So that's really nice. Um, I have one wire or one set of the preserved filler. Can you see that? Um, that's sticking out and it's actually poking me in the hand. So we're gonna cut that off so nobody is getting poked as they're holding that. And then we also are gonna trim the bottom of this so that it's all nice and tidy. So let's do that first. And again, I don't think I'm going to, no, I'm not gonna add, well, maybe we will for just, mm -hmm. no, I don't want to. I'm not gonna add any more stems to the bottom to fill this out. I feel good about the, the ratio of wire to faux artificial as well as preserved stems. Um, and I don't want to um, add more stems to it. We'll tie it off with ribbon. This is actually, I think, a little bit shorter than the original one. So when we tie it off with ribbon, it'll be super Simon. Look at this. To tie the ribbon, I'm even for the most part. Now, normally when I'm doing this, I haven't decided where my end is going to be. So I cut that after the fact. But since we're using reusing the ribbon we used the first time, I'm going to make it even. So now I'm going to crisscross in the back bring them over together and then tie a simple knot once, twice, and that's really what I do for a lot of the ribbons when I'm finishing off a bouquet. And then I always clip the, the ends. It really depends on the person. All right, there she be. Yes, you can take apart a bouquet and redo it, and it is gonna look slightly different each time until you are completely 100% satisfied with it. We went a little bit smaller. I actually was not happy with the size, in all honesty, of the first bouquet, but it is what it is. So now it's nice and like a size that I'm happy with. This could be either a bridal or a bridesmaid type size. Again, we used five bundles in there, and we will link the bundle technique below in the description as well if you wanna check out that tutorial. Speaking of which, if you would like to try out the Sola Flowers for the first time, you can get 30% off your first order. Yes, you can. Use the code YouTube30. Maybe we'll make some pretty sound there. YouTube30. It's for your first order. Try out the wood flowers, see how you like them, um, and give them a go. And if you have any questions, as always, you can message us and we'll answer them as soon as possible. If you're loving these videos, can't get enough, wanna know when the next one goes live, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. And to find out about the 150 style wood flowers along with craft supplies and greenery, go to oyourlovely.com. Until next time, this is Stephanie from Oh Your Lovely and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.